I am going to show you how to set up a PayPal button. PayPal has changed it. It's no longer that you can just go to tools and then buttons. It is a little bit of a roundabout way. Let me share my screen so I can show you. You need to be doing this if you are taking money from people. People need a way to pay you. So whether or not you are charging for your cookbook, you're charging for your program, you're taking people's money, whatever it is, create a PayPal button so that people can use their PayPal accounts or use their credit cards. Once you're into your PayPal, you're going to go to this little settings button here and you're gonna to go to profile and settings. Once you get into profile and settings, you are going to go to my selling tools. It was so much easier when it was like literally tools buttons. Now you need to go to settings, which is up here, and then my selling tools, and then PayPal buttons are gonna be right here. And you're gonna update your PayPal button. So what you need to do is you need to essentially create a PayPal button that's going to be connected with a URL to put in your lead page. So here you're gonna go create new button. And what you are going to do is you're gonna go buy now, whatever you want it to say. You're gonna say cookbook or whatever you're selling, program. You're gonna enter in your price, what you're selling it for and whether or not you're charging tax is up to you. And now, so say someone pays you. If you just want them to pay you, then that is fine. Now, what I do for my cookbook is I have them pay me through PayPal, and then they automatically get transferred to a new URL with my cookbook or my meal plans, whatever it is, to download. My program comes with a comprehensive guide. So what it is, is they pay with PayPal, and then they get the comprehensive guide that they can download right away. So in order to do that, you need to go to step three here and take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout. No, because they will get everything for free. Take customers to this URL when they finish their checkout. So this is where you are going to put the URL of what you're giving them. So what I do is I go to my Google Drive and I upload my cookbook. I'm going to get the shareable link from the Google Drive and put that right in here so that as soon as they pay and finish their checkout, they're going to be going to the URL for the Google Drive to download whatever they've just purchased. After that is done, you go create button. And once you've created your button, you can use this HTML code to embed it in your website. Or you can go here to email and this is what you need to copy to put into your lead page. So on the lead page, it will say, click here to buy now, click here to register, click here to purchase, whatever you want to say, make it very specific, and then they're going to go to this URL to pay with their PayPal, and then from PayPal, they're gonna to get to another URL to download their, for whatever they've paid for. So you've copied that, and you're gonna to go to your lead page. So this is one that I've created for my simple meal plans for fall. Blah, 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 <clears throat> click here to buy now. This is what I've created. There's lots of um, lead pages that you can do that are templates. You can make them look like this. Or as an alternative, if you don't have lead pages, just send people to that PayPal URL and they'll be able to pay and get their product. You don't even have to have lead pages, although it's nice because you wanna be able to collect the emails. You want it to run a little bit seamless. Um, people like coming to a landing page, yada, yada, yada. So here, this is where you're going to click here to buy now. Once you click on this, you wanna click here to link it, and you are going to choose external URL and then paste your PayPal code, because you can see here that I've already done it for my own, so it all runs. After that, you need to press done, and you need to press update. Lead pages, it's really important. If you are integrating anything that you always press save, done, update. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But that is the new place for creating PayPal buttons.